Good afternoon everybody, my name is James Kegel. Today we're going to be creating a video. We're going to be uh, configuring a website and we're going to be doing it using the Windows Server 2008 R2 that I have installed on my computer and the um, in my VMware workstation. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead we're going to open up the IIS Manager. So we're going to click Start. We're going to go to Administrative Tools and the Internet Information Services Manager. Okay, which takes us to here. Now we got all these things to do right here. Um, well, so we're gonna click on default website. Someone out there, babe. So we're going to go and we're going to expand that out. We're going to go bam, default website. We're going to right click on it. Okay. And then we're going to go manage website. All right. And we are going to do D. Okay. So those are all the different things you can do. Alright. We got the default document over here. We're going to double click that. Okay. And we're going to notice the default document, blah, blah, blah. And we got this. We're going to click on that. We're going to move that up and we're going to move it up until it's at the top of the list. Alright. Then we're going to click the back arrow in the upper left. Bam. All right. There. And we're going to double click the directory browsing. Thank you. Okay. From there. In the right pane, we're going to we're going to enable it. Bam. All right. So it's been enabled. Okay. We're going to click the back arrow. Okay, we're going to right click the default website and we are going to choose edit permissions. Okay, and from here we're going to click the security tab and we're going to go users. Which, okay, I guess users. Um, we're going to go there. Notice we don't have full control or nothing like that. So what we need to do, we're just looking to see what everyone's got. All right. From here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to click cancel. All right. Now we're going to go back to in the right pane. We're going to confine the configure section and click limits. So, well, that was a big one. Okay, so here's the configure section. And then from there, you would enter, you would configure the connection timeout. Oh, it's not letting me do that. But anyway, we would have configured the, the connection timeout to 240 seconds, and we would have limited the number of connections to 500. That way you don't have any more than uh, 500 people uh, coming at a time. That's a lot. So anyway, that's how you do it. Thank you for watching.